Following is an AZPM original production. Arizona Science is supported by Research Corporation for Science Advancement. For AZPM, I'm Tim Swindle, Professor Emeritus of Planetary Science at the University of Arizona, and this is Arizona Science. Joining me today is Yanko Niklich, the head of the Department of Immunobiology at the University of Arizona College of Medicine, Tucson, and the leader of the Arizona portion of a large study on the effects of long COVID. Welcome back, Yanko. Thank you for having me, Tim. I think the first question to ask is, are your data showing that long COVID is real? It is very real. I think not, not only our data, but national data, worldwide data is showing that this is a very serious condition. It is pervasive because we had so many people infected with COVID. And right now, the estimates are that somewhere between 4 to 10% of the people who had COVID end up with this unfortunate condition which is, you know, can be extremely disabling. It is not disabling for every person, but everybody knows that they've had something, you know, a lot longer than they should have. And for some people, it's really life-altering, life-changing for many, many people. And we feel that also one of the reasons why we're finding a lot of problems in a lot of industries in terms of filling the the jobs is the withdrawal of people with long COVID from the job market. Have you been able to figure out what makes it more or less likely that someone will come down with long COVID? Yes, a lot of studies are coming out. A national study is called Recover, and it is an observational study. The findings are that, of course, severity of the acute disease matters, but it's by no means that people who had mild or even asymptomatic initial disease will not come down with long COVID. You know, we have one participant in our study and by his description, he said, like, you know, the best that he has felt was during the time when he had acute COVID because it was relatively easy, relatively mild. And then trouble started hitting about five weeks later. And it's been like one thing after the other, after the other, with fatigue being one of the most consistent problems that people, people complain as I discussed, you know, people not being able to work is directly linked to that. Things that may help, you know, to reduce the chances of, of long COVID would be taking antivirals during the acute infection, being updated on your vaccinations. The only sure way to not get long COVID is to not get COVID. There are other studies coming up saying that, you know, long COVID is a risk factor for a whole slew of other complications. There is a condition called ME-CFS, um, CFS standing for chronic fatigue syndrome. And if you had long COVID, then your chance of having ME-CFS is, is very significantly higher. So there is more than one kind of long COVID? That is correct. You know, it's just like COVID itself. The disease of COVID was coming in different flavors. Some people, you know, had really pronounced problems with their breathing, you know, and they could not come up for air. But others had more of a stomach issues, gastrointestinal problems. Others were having, you know, things that would come up in, in, in many other flavors. And like that, you know, more than 200 symptoms have been reported by people suffering from long COVID. How much have you figured out about what is actually causing it? Is it a reinfection of the virus? Is it damage caused by the virus or some combination or something else? There's a lot of really great small studies that are telling us what is possible and what is likely. So there is likely some virus persistence and direct damage. There is very likely some immune dysfunction that predisposes somebody to either have an overly aggressive immune response that is then damaging the tissues. And then finally, there are some problems with blood clotting. And we my, my thought is that these three mechanisms, you know, individually or when combined together, probably give you most of this myriad of 200 symptoms that I told you are making up long COVID. Well, thanks for speaking with us about this fascinating and increasingly important topic. Our guest today has been Yanko Nikolic, who is one of the directors of a large study on long COVID. This is Tim Swindle, and you have been listening to Arizona Science. You can also listen to this and other Arizona Science segments by going to the AZPM website at azpm.org.
Thank you to Research Corporation for Science Advancement for their support of Arizona Science. AZPM podcasts are made possible in part by donations from listeners like you. Learn more at support.azpm.org. Thank you.